But mediation is not compulsory and uh, both of you have to want to go to mediation, have to be prepared to negotiate through mediation. So if you're the parent who isn't being allowed to see your children and uh, the other parent won't come to mediation, then the only option that's really left to you is to make an application to the court. Now that is something that you can do yourself, but I really wouldn't advise you to. I'm in court a lot uh, dealing with what, what we call a lips, litigants in person. In children at proceedings, you're talking about another parent who's coming to court and trying to represent themselves. It's very difficult for them and um, they're often not as successful as they would have been if they've been properly represented. So it's important that even if you cannot afford to be fully represented in your proceedings, that it, you consult and take advice from a solicitor as you go through the case, so along the way. Many solicitors offer a pay-as-you-go type service, which is where you are essentially representing yourself, but you can come and consult that solicitor whenever you need help. And that is something you absolutely must do. It is, quite frankly, close to being disastrous for you to represent yourself in court proceedings, particularly when you're talking about something as important as your children.